Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What's up today? I'm gonna be doing another wig slaying video or tutorial for you guys. Yes, um, you know, it's coming around to that time of the year, Christmas, and I love RPG hair spirit. As you can see, I have a RPG hair box in my hand, but it has a whole different design. And I just love how they're so proactive. It's We're in November, but they're already, you know, bringing in the Christmas vibes. I love that. So I pretty much, you know, have the usual, <laughs> my wig. Um, but I'm really happy about the way they packaged everything. So I have my wig here, which I'm going to get back to in a bit. But um, these are some of the stuff I got along with it, which is a wig cap. I also got a comb, hairpins, and some hair ties or scrunches, if you want to call it that. Some like section clips and a elastic band if I want extra security with my wig. And like a little um, brochure thing with directions of how to carry a wig and stuff. So this is the wig I have this month. And this is the pre-plucked 360, 360 frontal wig big density body wave Brazilian hair. Now guys this is a new and improved um wig as you can see the the scalp area the lace area i should say <laughs> it looks so much like scalp it's like they improved the way they bleach the the lace off their wigs and i am here for it guys i am here for it it is beautiful it's flawless and i was so excited to just go ahead and try this on my head because they always always the nuts are always bleached on their wigs when i get them but this like it looks so much more realistic and i'm very excited about that so right now i'm just gonna go into the portion where i pretty much start prepping my hair for application i gelled back the my edges with some of that um black castor oil eco styler gel um nothing too harsh and then i'm gonna go um i'm gonna put this wig cap over my head which is in the shade light brown they say but this doesn't look light brown to me it looks more tan but I like this shade because it really, it's close to my skin tone. It's not too light. So I like that. And I got this little tip here that I'm doing from um, this YouTuber by the name of Glamazante. Um, it, was, it was so convenient. I have to give props to her. Like this really helps the ear portion there. Like when you want to do little sideburns to lay. So what I did with this wig is pretty much just pull it all the way down because I really wanted to like let the back of my head the wig stick as well because i really wanted to try this out for the first time with this 360 and it is the first time that i'm doing this so i use my got to be free spray which speeds up everything and just spray it right around the perimeter of my head and then i dried that with my blow dryer on cool air of course for like five to six minutes it's really quick um as opposed to using the gel which would take forever and then i just cut off the excess um wig cap um you want to do it very close to where you sprayed the edges so that you don't have too much roll up because that will show through the lace if you don't do this properly and it will not look good so any rolly area i see like if the wig cap is rolling back i'll just go in again with the spray and just you know lay that further and i have a little tear or streak in the back of my wig cap but that's the least so i further blend the edges with some of my face powder and um i then go in section by section so i'm gonna do this piece by piece so i first do one side of my head and then i apply my wig and i i, I start sticking down like that the the left side of the wig first and then i move on to the right side so i do it in pieces to make it simpler and just make sure that everything is laying properly and it looks flawless at the end so i don't just do everything one time if you guys understand what i'm trying to say like the way i love how this was looking i didn't even do baby hairs today i really didn't i i allowed this to do its thing and just wear it as is and then i just pretty much repeated the same steps for the back of my head you have to be a little bit more patient though and then i, I put it up in a bun you know so you just have to really you know just be a bit pa a bit patient and work and just press it in on the back but it's the same procedure that i did for the back to stick and guys look at that it's gorgeous i am loving it <sighs> i'm in love with this wig and it is in 22 inches i forgot to tell you guys the specs of this hair but i feel like this is so far this is one of my this is one of my longest rpg hair wigs yeah i'm really loving it so 
I pretty much just started to go in and try out different hairstyles that I can do for this. I cut down the little side pieces a little bit more there. And I put that up in a little fan bun at the top of my head. I did a little half up, half down style. And I really loved it. Like, look at how realistic this looks. The hair is pretty long on me because you guys know I'm short, you know. And so this hair is 22 inches long. So that's where it, got, it reached me. But I was so happy with this, guys. So happy. I did a next quick style for you guys. But I didn't really get it too neat. Because I was just demonstrating to you guys, you know, different, different styles. But I really, really, I was just so excited that I just didn't want to even stop playing in this wig. Because it was so soft as well. Like, it's absolutely gorgeous, guys. And so, after doing that half up, half down, I tried a, a high ponytail and look at it it's really i mean it's not the neatest it's like a sloppy ponytail and i don't mind that that's how i definitely rock it any day as opposed to doing it all tight you know and then you can do it in a bun if you like so i was just playing around with that to let you guys see and i mean it's christmas time everybody wants their hair to be snatched and i at this point i was just thirsty after trying out all these styles i had to grab one of my brisk iced tea to just you know cool myself down this has zero calories and so my fridge is stocked with these i was drinking the strawberry flavor by the way but anyways yeah so i got back to the wig and i pretty much just you know i just let it down at this point i wanted to, i wanted to just show you guys the scalp area look at that guys i didn't have to apply any face powder to the lace or anything this is how the lace came so i have to give props to rpg here for stepping up the game with their wigs man it's gorgeous but this was the final thing i did with that and i i didn't even like straighten the hair or curl it this was the natural state that i received it in so i i'm just oh i'm just blown away i love it i love it i love it <laughs> as usual guys if you're interested in getting this or any other wig from rpg here go ahead and use my discount codes so 15 and petite 10 to get dollars off i'll link my direct rpg here um, page in the description box so click that check it out support your girl i really appreciate it you know go ahead and snatch your hair for christmas <laughs> but yeah guys that's it for today i know it's another ball cap video but i'm happy i could bring it across the night a little bit of a different way to you guys being that i used a 360 wig this time around i hope this tutorial helped you guys if it did go ahead and give it a thumb up let me know your thoughts in the comment section all the specifications on this wig will be in the description box so check that out and I'll see you guys in my next video. So until then, bye.